In today's video, we're going to learn how to convert fractions into decimals. Converting fractions into decimals is pretty simple, and there's only one step. To convert a fraction into a decimal, all you have to do is divide the numerator by the denominator. Now you can do this using long division by hand, or if you're allowed to use a calculator, you can also use a calculator and you'll get the same answer. So we're going to go through a couple different examples today and I'll show you how to do some long division and I'll show you how you can use a calculator as well if you have one available to you. So let's start with number one. We have three fourths. So to convert three fourths into a decimal, we have to divide the numerator um, by the denominator. So the numerator is three. Divide that by the denominator of four. So let's write that out as a long division problem. So we put our long division bar, put the three underneath and the four outside. So now we have to ask ourselves, how many times does four go into three? Well, four is bigger than three, so none. So in order to do this problem, we have to put a decimal point here and add a zero. So now essentially we're gonna ask ourselves, how many whole groups of four go into 30? So first we bring our decimal point straight up. Now, how many whole groups of four go into 30? That's gonna be seven. Seven times four is 28. Now we subtract 30 minus 28. That's gonna be two. Since we didn't end with a zero here, we add one more zero up here so we can bring that down. Now we have 20 down here. Now we say how many whole groups of four go into 20? That's gonna be five. So we write our five up here. 5 times 4 is 20. Subtract. 20 minus 20 is 0, and since we have a clean 0, that means we are done. So, 3 fourths, written as a decimal, is 75 hundredths. Let's try number 2. We have 1 fifth. So we're going to do the same thing. We have to divide our numerator by our denominator. So let's write our division bar. And then we put our numerator under that one and our denominator outside, five. And again, we say how many whole groups of five go into one. And again, five is bigger than one, so it's not gonna work. So we're gonna put a decimal point and add a zero, bring our decimal point up. And now we can ask how many whole groups of five go into 10? Well, that's gonna be two. It's two times five is 10. We subtract. That leaves us with a zero. So right off the bat, we have our clean zero. So one fifth is equal to two tenths as a decimal. So here we have a couple more examples. Um, and these are two that if I had a calculator, I would just use a calculator to do that. Um, and I'll use a calculator for number four. But for number three, I want to go through this uh, in long division so I can show you what's actually happening. So we have one sixth. And we want to convert that to a decimal. So we're going to use long division, we're going to write our division bar again, and we're going to put our numerator under the division bar and our denominator outside, and again we're going to ask ourselves, um, how many whole groups of 6 go into 1? And again, 6 is bigger than 1, so it's not going to be any. So we're going to have to add a decimal point and add a 0. So now we bring our decimal point up, and we say, how many whole groups of 6 go into 10? Well, that's going to be 1. So we put a 1 up here, 1 times 6. 6, 10 minus 6 is 4. And since we don't have a clean 0 down here, we have to add a 0 over here to bring down. So now we have 40. So how many whole groups of 6 go into 40? That is going to be 6. 6 times 6 is 36. 40 minus 36 is 4. Again, we didn't have a clean 0, so we're going to add another 0 over here. Bring this down, we have 40. How many whole groups of six go into 40? It's gonna be six again. Six times six is 36. 40 minus 36 is four, and you guys might be recognizing a pattern here. Um, we didn't get a clean zero, so we're gonna add another zero. Bring this down, that's gonna make this 40. How many whole groups of six go into 40? That's gonna be six again, and this will go on forever. It's gonna be a repeating decimal, um, and you're never gonna get a clean zero. So we have two uh, options when you have a repeating decimal like this, when you have to give an answer. One option is to round, and you can round to the hundredths or the thousandths place. Um, typically, that's where you would round to. Um, so if we round this decimal to the thousandths place, we have 0.1666, so we go to the thousandths place, that would be a six, it's right here. And we look to the right, 
and that's a six. So that means that we're gonna bump this number up one. So if we round it, our answer would be 167 thousandths. Now another way you can write a repeating decimal um, as an answer is you put the decimal, you have one, six, and then you put a bar over the digit that repeats. And that symbolizes uh, or signifies that that six is gonna repeat on forever. So that's telling uh, us that this decimal would be 1, 0.16 repeating. Um, so that's how you deal with a answer if you get a repeating decimal. Let's try number four. We have 18 over 11. Now 18 over 11 is an improper fraction. And because of this, our answer is going to be greater than one. The decimal that this converts into is gonna be one and something. That's because uh, 18 over 11, the value of that fraction is more than one. So this would be one where I would typically uh, just plug this into a calculator um, and see what we get as an answer. So if I do that, I would put 18 divided by 11 in my calculator, and what that would give me would be 1.63663, and that keeps going on forever. So again, we have a repeating decimal. Um, but unlike uh, number three, this decimal has uh, two digits that repeat. We still have the same two options uh, in how we can write this, so we can round. So let's say we round this to the hundredths place. So we look uh, at the hundredths place, that would be the three, and we look right to the right of that, and we have a six. So that means we're going to round up. Anything five or greater, we round up. So rounded, that would look like one and sixty-four hundredths. Now our other option again is to use the bar over the digits that repeat. Um, but like I said earlier, in this example, um, the six and the three both repeat, not just uh, one digit. So if you want to use the bar, the bar has to go over both digits that repeat. So that would look like this. You have a 1.63 and then a bar over both. And that signifies that both the six and the three repeat on indefinitely. So hopefully after watching this video, you guys have a better understanding of how to convert fractions to decimals. Thanks for watching.